In this video, I'm gonna go through five essential data cleaning functionalities within Google Sheets. Coming from about 10 years using Excel, the more I've got into it, the more I could see the simplicity and the fantastic functions it has makes it on par with Excel or even a little bit better. So let's get into the tips. Okay, the data set we're gonna to use today is a data set of sales to certain customers. And it's a bit of a dirty data set and we're gonna go into how to fix this. Now, the first thing you could probably see that we have different cases in the name and city field. And what we want to do for the, both of these fields is to capitalize the first letter, the first word of the first letter of every subsequent word. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a column to the left and just use a really nice function in Google Sheets called proper. So the proper function will proper case everything, which just means it capitalizes every word. So we can just double click this to copy all that down. We're going to do the same with city work and do the exact same thing of copy all this down. I'm going to copy over the column name and then super important what we do is we just copy this whole column and then just go pay special values only and what this will do is this will get rid of the proper function so we have our new columns here and we can just delete the old columns and now you see all my names are fine and all my cities are fine the next thing we're going to look at is find and replace and you can already see some of these city names aren't quite what they should be so a really really useful tool within google sheets is this column stats here and from column stat i can have a look at the distribution of my columns and the values in my columns. So going through these, I can look at most and least. And when I look at some of these, I can see that, you know, they've got some wrong names here. So the seven unique values, but there should, I think, be four or five. And another really useful function I can use to see what's in a column is we can do equals unique and what this will do if we take the whole column into it this will give us all the unique values from the whole column so i can see i've got new york spelled wrong there a few times and i've got also boston spelled wrong there a few times so what i can do now is i can do find and replace so we go to edit and we go to find and replace here so what i can say here is looking at these i want everything that uh, ny york i'm going to change that to new york i can just replace all here and you can see from the unique column i don't even have to look at this from the unique column, you can see that that's gone. And also I'm going to get the misspelled Boston in here and I'm going to change that to the correctly spelled Boston. And then we can replace all. And now I have my city names in here and we're all good with our four cities. So I can just delete this. Next thing I want to show you is a really useful text to columns function, which sits within Google Sheets. So you can see here, I've got two basically columns of information in here. I've got a product, which is widget A, and I've got a quantity of 10. And I want to change that into to a product column and a quantity column. So what I can do here is just select this column and go into data and there is something in here called split text to column. Now this will try and figure out uh, something automatically and that's wrong because I don't want it to work like that. What I want to do is split on the semicolon, not split automatically. So what I can do in here is I can just go custom. I can put in what I want to split it on on here, just tap across and that's split out my product into widget a and there's a quantity in here and it's split out my quantity exactly how i want it so what i can do is i can change this column name to product and i can change the second column name to quantity and i'm just going to delete this original column here and what i can do here because these are all a uh, comma quantity what i can do is do another find and replace in here and we're just going to take the whole quantity. We're going to look for that. And we're going to replace it with nothing. And replacing it with nothing will simply get rid of it. So I've used the text to columns to create my product and my quantity. So there's a couple of duplicates in my data set. And Google Sheets is a really useful functionality for dealing with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the data here and then I'm going to go up into data. I'm going to go to data cleanup and I'm going to go remove duplicates. And you can say data has header rows and you can decide which column to remove duplicates on. So I'm selecting all here, but you could just remove all the duplicates from the ID column. You could remove from the name column, but I'm just going to select all because most times duplicates will be duplicates the whole way across. So I've got a number of duplicates in here. I can just press remove duplicates and my nine duplicate rows were found and removed. So with this filter function here, we're going to say A1 to D103, where D1 to D103 equals to New York. And this will take all our data where this is equal to, to New York. We can change this to F103 and it'll filter out a little bit more. Or we could say we want to take B2 
E and that filters there. If you want to get the headers on this as well, you go in before the filter function and you can just put in B1 to E1 and then this symbol here and then you got your headers as well. So that was five quick data cleaning functions in Google Sheets. Hope you found this video useful. Follow for more.